Alright, so um, here's an update for the live TV shit. You go, if you're on a fire stick, you go to your settings, which is to the right. Go to applications. I want to show multiple ways to do this. I want to go kind of fast. Um, you'll have Decrypt TV. Launch it. I don't, I'm not signed in currently. Doesn't matter. Um, your shit's, the guide's not going to populate. So you're going to say no information across the board. So you're going to have to reinstall a new app that looks exactly the same. It's just coded differently. So what I would do is go to my Decrypt TV. I'll start from the beginning. We'll go to my settings. Applications. Manage installed apps. Go to Decrypt TV. Uninstall it. You're going to lose all your favorites and shit like that. But it's... I mean, that's the game so if you have downloader you can download it from there if you have unlinked some of the newer customers have my store in here if you don't you can use downloader but if you have unlinked you'll see that this one says updated September 12th 2021 now you won't get the new shit unless you hit back and then force stop it and then launch it and now it'll re-update the library to where it's updated 3522 which is today so you can download it from here you just click it and download whatever we're not going to go that way because some people don't have unlinked so i'm going to hit home so for the people that have unlinked on the newer devices Excuse me, that'll be the way to go. So, manage just all that. Once again, I'm going to go to Downloader. And then Launch Application. Press up one time and you're in the URL bar. And you're going to type in there. And then 31327. Now, make sure Decrypt TV is uninstalled. Otherwise, they're going to bump heads. So, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going to uninstall it. I already uninstalled it. I'm just going to install it now. Going through the download thing. It's all the same web address. I just swapped apps. So it's the same process if you've installed the Crypt TV. It's the same process, but you got to uninstall the old one. I just, like I said, swapped the apps with the same URL. We'll say open. Once you have it in here, you're going to go to login, decrypt TV login. Any name could be any name. My last name's Montez, so I'm going to put Tez, just whatever. And then your username, because I'm on it right now, once I hit next or go or whatever, it's already popped me to the next prompt. So you're going to go to username. And you're going to type in your username. I don't know what it is. I do know what it is. If you're a customer of mine, obviously, you just might have to message me so I can send you a screenshot of your username and password. It has to be exact. You can't uppercase, lowercase, something wrong. You can't spell your name wrong. You can't spell a password wrong. It just has to be exact. So I'm not going to do it because we all know somewhat how to sign in. We can type in a username and say my username is, is usually decrypt, but it's with a capital uh, D. But So say I went there, and now I'm on the password screen. So now the password is going to be like D4, uppercase. If you hold down, I'm sorry, you hit the three-line button, it uppercases on a fire stick. Um, and you type in your password. Just make sure this is exactly the way it is. Now, I'm going to type in a bullshit password. Whatever. And I'm going to go to next. Keep include VOD on. Don't worry about it. We don't do VOD. Go to next. Now, my shit's going to say player underscore API. If it says underscore API, you typed in your password or username incorrectly. So, at this point, you would hit back and then recheck your credentials oh i didn't put an uppercase d you know my password oh it's a zero not an o or a 
I, not an L or something like that. And then when you go to next, it'll say TV underscore channels underscore. It'll be your username. If your name is Bill Sanchez, it'll say underscore, you know, TV channels underscore Bill Sanchez. So, see how it's processed, but there's zero channels counted. So, if I hit done, you're going to get the fuck you screen with no channels. So, I'm going to do it for the sake of showing you because I'm not typing in my password. But, I'm going to hit done. But remember, don't hit done if it says this. Player API. It has to say your username. Can't stress this enough. So if I hit done right here, it's going to give me no channels. I see this constantly because people can't figure that out. And now it's hard to get out of there because you can't back it out. So I had to go to settings. I typed in my shit wrong. I go to settings, manage installed applications, go to decrypt TV, and then you would uh, clear the data in it and start again. Login, decrypt TV login, any name, whatever. D H G F, doesn't matter. You're never going to see it. And then you would type in your username, and then you would hit it next, and you would type in your password. Type it in. And you would hit next. So the next is going to be grayed out because there's nothing, nothing in this shit. So I'm trying to be as self-explanatory as possible, so I don't have people complaining that their shit's not working properly because they're typing in the wrong password. So I'm going to hit back, decrypt TV login, any name. Once again, I'm going to repeat it over and over again. My name is Fack. I don't give a shit. Next. My name is... Username is... Bill. If it's capital B, then it needs to be capital B. And then I go to my password. If it's a zero or a capital O, they kind of get confusing. But when I send passwords out, I usually send it with O as an Oscar or zero as in zero. L as in Lima or I as in you know, lowercase. L kind of looks like a capital I. And then once you type in your password, you hit next. You can't hit next until you have some kind of fake password. So I'm just going to put AAA in there. Next, now I can hit next because there's some kind of password in there. Once again, if it says player API, you typed in the wrong password, and I'm intentionally typing in the wrong password so you can see that I am typing in the wrong password. If you need the, your current username and password, just message me and I will send it to you, and that should be good to go. This is uh, March 5th. 2022 if you don't have the new app it just updated this morning so you need the new app i have another app coming in a week so you'll have multiple apps people that have me tv don't even need to do this if they don't want to but the crypt tv looks cleaner than me tv um so that's it questions you know how to get a hold of me